Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films, and today, <laughs> NVIDIA dropped another one. This time is a new version of the NVIDIA RTX Unreal Engine 5 branch. I've covered the previous videos here on the channel, and honestly, they freaking did it again. So long story short, if you download this, you're going to have access to these technologies. This RTX DI is what we're going to be taking a look at right now. I already covered this on the channel a couple of months back, but that was like 5.1. This is 5.2. Apparently, it's much improved. And we're going to be taking a look at that. Now, as of right now, unfortunately, this is not a plugin that you can just get from the Epic Marketplace. I'm hoping that one day it will be allowed to be in the marketplace because I think this is very, very helpful. Um, but right now, you are going to have to download a whole new Unreal Engine 5 version called the NVIDIA RTX branch repo. All right, you'd have tutorials on how to do it. Um, Rich and Zach have done a great job making these videos, so please go watch it on how to install it. But in this video, I'm going to show you why you should download it, okay? Because, you know, you know me. L let me show you first as to why you should get this. All right, so here we are in NVIDIA RTX branch, and I opened up a little scene that I created Kit Bash with the artists and Kit Bash 3D and just Epic Games Marketplace. So this environment right here. It originally I did not have all these lights in here. Matter of fact, I had less lights and actually had to bake some lights because I was just not able to do it. All right. So last night I just play around and added lights where I can add light, where it makes sense to have a light on. And this is the environment. And we have RTX DI turned off right now. So you can see at cinematic scalability settings, it's hurting pretty bad. All right. And if we check out the light complexity of this, <laughs> actually, disclaimer, don't try this at home. Just don't try it. Watch it first. Don't follow this through if you download it or whatever. If you are an optimizer, a game working for a AAA studio, you prob you're probably having a heart attack right now. Uh, and, and for those people who really don't know what's going on, anything white, that's a bad idea. You would really want to stay right in the middle so that you can get some FPS. So this right here, again, is super overkill. I have lights on top of lights on top of lights with radius massive radius and that's why it looks like just pure white this is yeah this is not ideal but again we're testing to see what this is all about so if i press g you can see we have a light right here we have lights right here every everywhere that you see a light i probably have a light and the biggest thing about this is they are all movable light okay that means they're casting shadows none of these lights are baked and they are just right on top of each other, okay? And, and again, just a disclaimer, this is not a scientific test. This is more like WTF, worst case scenario, just JS Films being JS Films. All right, so here we go. So now we have 18 frames per second. It's hurting really bad. And I'm going to turn on the, the key for this. So sampled lighting is equals to 1. And right away, we get like almost 40 FPS. Now, all those lights are still on the scene, but I can actually move. Mind you, again, this is in editor running cinematic settings. So in a nutshell, RTX DI is going to allow you to have a lot more movable shadow casting lights in your scene. All right. And this technology was used with the Cyberpunk Overdrive mode. And again, Cyberpunk and horror games are perfect for this technology. Because as you can see here, I just lit this everywhere. I did not care whatsoever. And obviously, and again, this tech is still being developed. So it's still going to improve. But my goodness. This, this looks amazing. Because before, I would have to have baked some of these lights to get some performance back. I wouldn't have been able to do this. Even for a cinematic, there, there's no way. But 
that being said, okay, this looks cool and all. I went ahead and packaged this little EXE here. So what I'll do is I'm going to open up MSI Afterburner and open up the package file that I got or that I packaged out of this. I'm going to close this out because as soon as I open MSI Afterburner, it's going to crash. So give me one second. Okay, it looks like it's loading. All right, so MSI is on and we have our packaged environment in here. All right, so what you're looking at right now is a package environment. I've showed you what it does in the editor, but you know, what does it look like in a package gameplay, if you will, or package Unreal Engine 5 instance? So right now we have it off, and as you can see, the shadows are not very accurate. Um, that's way too bright. So what I'll do is not only use RTX DI, but also use DLSS3 with frame generation. Again, we're talking about the future of gaming here, all right, like we've seen in Cyberpunk. So now I'll press Y and we're gonna turn on the um, sampled lighting. And now all the lights, every single light that I put in here are actually casting shadows, all right? So the table right there is showing casting shadows properly. It just looks more realistic, like, you know, like a real club. And it's pretty darn impressive, right? And I'm still running at 30 frames per second, sure. You know, that's not a lot, but this is where it gets a little crazy. So now I'm gonna press J, and this is gonna turn on the LSS 3 frame generation. I'm gonna press F4, uh, F10 real quick, because uh, VSync is off. We're at high settings, 4K right now. I just wanna showcase and show you how much FPS we can get out of this, right? Granted, this is a tiny, tiny scene. Don't compare this to like a AAA game. This is just me messing around. So we're at 44 frames per second. I'll just put away my pistol for now. I do have some VFX on my footsteps. I'm sorry, I just migrated this. This is from another project. Uh, I do have some reactical lights that's reacting to the music that's playing. So that's working for us there. I mean, to me at least, this looks a lot better than my baked lighting one whenever I rendered an anim animation from this. So now we're gonna press K because K is ultra performance with DLSS3 frame generation. Right now, this is that. We're about getting 60 frames per second. I think I might be capping out. Let me just kind of flip this on and to see if I can just get that to move. There you go. Let's switch, it's flip for some reason. So now we're at ultra performance at 150 frames per second. 4K high settings. Pretty darn cool. And this is ultra performance. So we'll go to performance. Now I'm pressing L. I am going to lose some FPS here. Roughly 40-ish. But this still looks pretty darn good. Except for this guy. Mr. Clean looking like dude. Never make it to a shampoo commercial, dude. But yeah, this looks great. 98, 98 frames per second, 99 frames per second, 4K high settings. This is crazy. All right, so we'll move it again. Press U. This is going to be your, I think, balance. This is my favorite setting right here. Like I mentioned before, I mean, come on. Come on. That, that just looks great. I mean, look at this dude. He is higher than a kite right now. He's like, what are you even staring at? Oh, gosh. All right. So that's balance. Let's go to quality. Now, this is quality. And wow, it, it, it cleans it up a lot, actually. This is DLS is three frame gen at quality. 70 frames per second, man. This is looking nice, all right? And finally, we're going to go with O, which is 100%. Yeah, FPS is going to drop with this one. This is DLSS 3 frame gen 100% screen. I mean, yeah, you, you can see that. And if you want to, we'll go to native, which is P. I'll turn everything off. That's going to bring us back to 25 frames per second. It's really fun. Uh, let's go back to K. Because what I want to do is actually swap. And again, I think there's a bug right there with my menu. So I'll just apply this here so that we can get that back. It should be disabled for VSync. Let's now go to, yeah, let's go back. Let's just go to Ultra. I'm not going to go to Epic. All right, so now we're at Ultra, and this is K. Um, again, with Ultra Performance, you're going to see a lot more noise. You can see it right here. 
this is ultra settings this is not really say like a video game cinematics this is comparable to a cinematic settings in engine, engine scalability which is bananas right let's go with l now which is going to be performance and as you can see that's probably like the rtx 49 right now is just saying bro you just need to chill but what we're gonna do is we're gonna press u because that is balance so right now my rtx 490 is like bro like you should really stop that but what we're gonna do is if i press i this is gonna take us to quality right so now we're really turning the heat up so now we're at like this is looking crispier than fried chicken my friends 15 frames per second with DLSS 3 cinematic settings at quality. This is insane. Don't try this at home. And I can feel that heat like on my leg. Actually, that's my other computer. That's the 4060 Ti right now. It's like, bro. This is insane. The qual. Now, I'm not trying to make y'all dizzy, but. It's just so funny because the, the RTX 490 right now is saying like, bro, like it's just done at this point, right? I mean, it would be crazy for me to just press O at this point because that's really get up. Eight frames per second, bro. Cinematic settings with hundreds of movable lights in Unreal Engine 5.2 with zero optimizations. This should not be on my screen right now. It, sh it shouldn't be. I should be crashing by now. Let me go and press K because I can't afford a new graphics card. But it's so funny because it's like every time I get a card, I like pushing it to the max. And I'm telling you, we are so close to the point where it's gonna be like, it's kind of like 12K in cameras. You know, there were so many pro 12K came out and everybody was like, okay, <laughs> okay, time out. That, that's all right, okay, that's, 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 uh, that's enough. I think for graphics, graphics card, DLSS, RTX DI, I think we're really getting close to that. Eventually, in a couple of years, I think we're going to hit a spot that's just going to say, okay, this is path tracing. There's nothing else that's going to look as good as this. And it's so exciting to see the progression. Because, again, if you're going to try this at home, I wouldn't suggest it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, but, but as you all know, I like to test the limits of these things. And, uh, oh. We didn't even go upstairs. I'm sorry. Let, let, let me go upstairs before I go. Uh, let's go with a uh, U. Actually, while we're doing that, let's go with epic settings just in case. And, and again, not a lot of people gain in 4K. All right. So to a lot of people, this is still pretty much so uh, overkill. So I'll press J, turn on, and then I'll press U. And I'll give us back to... Um, uh, for some reason, I can't climb these stupid stairs. I tried changing the simple collisions and in increasing like the max step height but for some reason she just does not like climbing that stairs it works for my other characters um but yeah so so yeah i kind of want to show you up here because again it, it's the same thing i put spotlights up here and right here i put lights there's a light right there there's a light right there there's a and fog too 70 frames per second at balance quality actually let's do let's go to quality right now this is quality at cinematic settings, bro, somebody at home should not be able to get this performance. You know what I mean? Like AAA studios have optimization teams to make sure that something runs well. I mean, I don't know if they're using it nowadays, but it's just insanity on what you can achieve at home now. Because again, this branch is free. I, you just download it. It's so cool. I mean, I'm not really an indie developer for games, but the tools that you have now, man, it, it is absolutely insane. Isn't that right, JS Films Robot? 
Yes, I will destroy humans. See? Alright. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you want to check it out, go check out their video tutorials, man. That's, that's where I be. You know, whenever they do their podcasts, I, like, watch it on demand. Because that's where you're going to keep up with these technologies that are coming out. To stay on top of it, you're going to have to really watch their stuff and look into it and read some stuff. Or, you know, you can always just go to Jay's phone to see what's going on. Um, that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. This is out now. And yes, RTX DI worked in virtual reality. So, yes, I am going to try this out in VR. Because I know that's one of the questions I'm going to get right away.